guys, welcome to Planning with Crystal. So today's unboxing is another advent calendar unboxing. And you're probably thinking, it's a couple of days to Christmas. Advent is well and truly underway. Why are you doing another advent calendar unboxing? And quite simply, it's because I got this little beauty in the sale and I wanted to share it with you. It's still available, it's mega value. And this is a cow shed advent calendar, by the way. They tend to do something similar each year, so this may well be very similar to next year's calendar. So you might want to watch it just to see what might be inside. So I was eyeing this calendar up when it was full price. So full price was £140. It's a 24 day calendar and I managed to get it for £49 because it was a bit of a discount code and it was on the website for £70. Then with the discount code, it became £49. Just got on the website today to check it's still in stock. It is but it's retailing at £56. So I don't know if there is still a discount off that. I'll check it all out though and I'll put the best price underneath. So how pretty is this box? They actually did it in two designs. This is their kind of standard design. How pretty is this? It's got birds, it's got animals, it's got butterflies. On the back it does have the details of the content so I won't show you that. But that's the top of the box. And then it's just got a little ribbon here at the side which I will open now and this is what it looks like. Cowshed is actually one of the rare brands that will sell the calendar and the content separately. So if you do get this in the sale and then next year you want to refill it with whatever next year's contents are, they will sell them a lot cheaper without the box. So they're encouraging you to refill and reuse, which is really, really good. And you can see the like little cardboard drawers, but they seem quite well made and definitely like to stand up to a few years use. So Cowshed, if you're not familiar with them, they do the most gorgeous, luxurious bath and shower products. They also do facial skincare products, candles, all kind of things like that. They also have the amazing Soho House down south, which just looks like the most amazing place I'd love to visit one day. And yeah, just really, really love the products. So like I said, I got it for like nearly a third of the original price, which I just thought was a bargain. So I'm getting it really because I love a lot of the products and there's some others I wanted to try that are in here. So I'm going to do this in the style of my normal beauty unboxings or advent calendar unboxings and I'm going to unbox it and I'm going to show you everything that's inside. They haven't said what the value of the box is, so I will work it out as best as I can and I'll put it on the screen at the end if you want to know the total value. But I do know there is a full size product in here that retails on its own at £36. So to get it for £49 was an absolute steal. Let's get right in. Day number one. So everything has got some black tissue paper around it. We're starting off with a rejuvenate day cream. This is in a 20ml or 0.34 fluid ounce size. It's in a little squeezy tube and it's got a little flip cap on it as well. So it looks like we might just get a full on routine in here. But it seems strange to start with the day cream because I'm pretty sure there's a cleanser in here. So I would have started with the cleanser and built up to the moisturiser. But there we go. So it tells us that this day cream is supercharged with an innovative cellular energy complex to improve skin elasticity and firmness. Sounds good to me. Day number two. So today we've got the Uplifting Body Lotion. So I've used these before and I've definitely spoken about these before because I've bought their sets as like little gifts and things. So they do different ranges. Like I said, this one's uplifting. I think they do one that's like relaxing and energizing and different ones like that. Um, so this one has got essential oils of red mandarin, bitter orange and grapefruit. 30 ml or one fluid ounce. So these are like the travel size ones that you normally get in sets size wise. So it always comes out as quite a thick texture, but then it actually smooths into the skin really well. I particularly really like this scent because you just really get the orange and the grapefruit coming through. So it is quite zesty and uplifted as I've suggested. So I definitely think those scents really do evoke that kind of uplifting feel. Day number three. So as I mentioned, a cleanser. So this is the Gentle Face Cleanser with lavender, aloe and clary sage. I think this used to be called their lavender cleanser or something. It's 30 mils or a fluid ounce. Everything, by the way, is made in England. There aren't any sulfates or nasties or anything in here and they are cruelty free. So it does have a really light lavender scent. It's got the kind of texture of almost like that body lotion texture, that light cream cleanser texture, but this gets really good reviews. I have read some reviews on the advent calendar that said that they bought the calendar, tried this cleanser, couldn't believe how gentle and lovely it was on the skin and went out and bought a full size. So I'm kind of hoping I'm gonna have that type of success with these products. We shall see. Day number four, and today we have got a shampoo. It's called the Soften Shampoo with Mei Chang Carrot and Lemon, 30 mils or one fluid ounce. 
it's not got any sodium laurel sulfate in or anything like that which is good because i'm allergic to it and it strips the skin and everything it's not good natural therapies from the heart and soul of somerset england I haven't used their shampoo before i definitely get that light sort of zesty lemon to it but it's quite subtle so i think it'd be a nice one to use anyway like i said i've had some great success with some of the other products have been really lovely so look forward to trying that one day number five so this is a little candle it's kind of like a votive size so it's a 35 gram candle and i don't think they actually sell it in this size i think you'd have to get it in like a set which is true of a lot of these items and the sizes but it's got that sort of a little bit of a hint of lavender it's the relaxed candle so it's definitely got those kind of relaxing scents in there it smells really nice and i do like a good candle and it's in a nice little ceramic sort of pop doesn't say anything on it so it would go anywhere as well it'd be in the color and everything that it is day number six and today we have got the conditioner see this is a bit random i would have put shampoo and then conditioner the next day rather than a few days between but it doesn't really matter as it will get it ultimately so this one has also got lavender lemon and pal rosa it's 30 mils or a fluid ounce that one's got more of a kind of herbally scent it sort of has more scent to it than the shampoo did and it smells a little bit different to the shampoo but it's still from the soften range so these are obviously great little travel sizes or trial sizes i like to sometimes use my miniatures just to pretend i've gone somewhere for the weekend and just like try out some new things day number seven and this is a full size this is the nourish cuticle oil so you can buy this in this size individually it's an 11 mil or 0.37 fluid ounce size and it's got oils of apricot castor and sweet almond it's in a dropper style bottle so you can just drop a little bit of oil there on your cuticle and rub it in to massage the cuticles it's got that kind of sweet orange scent to it actually when you put it on your nails again it's quite subtle but if you look for it it's there and it smells really nice so and it seems like quite a thick oil like i've had some nail oils you would think they'd all be the same but they're really not and i've had some that are sort of so thin that you put them on and they're like running down your hand and you're struggling to massage them into your cuticle oil this one feels a little better a little more substantial and it feels quite luxurious i really like the smell of it as well day number eight so today we have got the calming pillow mist from the sleep collection as you'd expect from a pillow mist 10 mils or 0.34 fluid ounce so this is essential oils of lemon myrtle melissa and valerian interesting so it's got like st john's wort and things in so rather than being lavender it, it's actually got a very different type of scent so if you don't like lavender but you still want something to help you sleep this would be a great alternative it smells really really lovely but not like lavender which is new to me for a sleep spray but yeah it's in a cute little tiny spritzy bottle so again definitely enough there i think to give it a few goes and see if it's going to suit you day number nine so today we've got the bracing bath and shower gel bracing <laughs> sorry i like that word bracing just wasn't expecting it with oils of hemp sweet orange and grapefruit 30 mils or one us fluid ounce so obviously you can run this underwater to make it like a bath gel or you can use it in the shower it smells like the sweet orange but also something in there that smells outdoorsy in a good way like i've just gone for a brisk bracing walk on the moors this kind of sort of scent i definitely think this would like wake you up and get you going in the morning day number 10 we've got another bath and shower gel this is from the restoring range it's the restoring bath and shower gel with essential oils of rose geranium frankincense and ylang ylang and it's 30 mils or one fluid ounce see i don't know that ylang ylang is like one of my favorite scents but actually blended with the frankincense and the geranium makes it a little bit better for me it does smell kind of spicy-ish which i quite like a bit of a spicy scent so it's an interesting scent it's something a little bit different it's one of those i don't know if i like it or i don't i don't dislike it but you know i'll have to work with it and see how i get on day number 11 and today we've got a glass bottle so this is the comforting bath and body oil and this is from the cozy sort of range so this is 30 mils or one fluid ounce and i think normally you can only get these in like a big glass bottle so i'm glad we've got a little miniature oh that is cozy i don't even know how to describe how that smells cozy but it does it really really does it says a floral spicy blend to put you in touch with your sensual side sweet almond and hemp seed oils soften and nourish the skin while rose absolute and patchouli oils evoke romance and cinnamon warms things up 
So this is one where you, after bathing, apply the oil to damp skin and massage in. You can also use it in the bath by pouring it under running water. I'm gonna have to have another smell of this. Definitely doesn't smell like rose. It just, it just smells quite cozy and sexy and I like it. I like that a lot. So I'm very, very happy with that. Day number 12. Ooh, so today we've got a natural lip balm. So this is a full size and it's 12 mils or 0 0.40 fluid ounces. It's got jojoba, shea and cocoa butter in it. So to apply to the lips as often as required, it's got one of these sort of flat applicators of the hole in. So it's like perfect for just hugging onto the lips, making it super easy. So if you're out and about and you're just applying that little bit of moisture to the lips, you're not gonna get it everywhere. And it's just like a clear, natural looking lip balm. So it should suit most of us. Day number 13 and today we've got something from the refresh range and this is the hand cream. They do gorgeous hand creams, really just really nice. They sink in well, they smell nice, they're just a really lovely hand cream. So this is 50 mils or 1.69 fluid ounce so it's like a travel size, you get them in this size in like the sets and things. Again it's just in like a nice squeezy tube so yeah just adds a nice little bit of moisture to your hands and it smells rather delightful a moisturizing hand cream to restore softness to hands shea tones while grapefruit refreshes the skin coriander is known for its soothing and calming effects day number 14 and today we've got the seeker face wash with seeker prebiotic and hyaluronic acid. So this one's interesting. It's 20 mils or 0.68 fluid ounces. It says formulated with soothing aloe vera, witch hazel and Sika to help calm and improve skin tone. This face wash helps to boost radiance while removing makeup and daily grime. Day number 15 and today we've got something from the Relax range. So this is the Calming Bath and Shower Gel, 30ml or 1 fluid ounce and it's got essential oils of lavender and eucalyptus. So lavender you expect, don't you, when you think of Relax, I certainly do. But it's not super lavender. -y. It is lavender, -y, but it's like kind of toned down and balanced with the eucalyptus. It's a really nice scent actually. Yeah. Definitely a nice little relaxing one. Day number 16. So this is from the Relax range as well. It's the Calming Body Lotion. So this makes sense. You give us the Relax Bath and Shower Gel, then the next day you give us the body lotion that goes with this. But this one's got essential oils of lavender, eucalyptus and chamomile. Again, 30 mils or one fluid ounce. But definitely pairs together. Texture wise, same as the other body lotions I've shown you. They just sink in really well into the skin. Smell really really nice this one definitely smells like it evokes a little bit of calm and potentially a little bit of sleepiness too day number 17 and this is from the essential range and it's the refreshing toner so this is for your skincare your facial skincare so this is chamomile rose and aloe 30 mils or one fluid ounce it's this after cleansing sweep onto skin with cotton wool using upward movements doesn't really have a scent as such to it to say it's got I suppose chamomile's quite a subtle scent isn't it but the first ingredient after water is aloe vera leaf juice and then chamomile herb and then lavender and then rose so they are quite gentle ingredients we don't really get a scent so hopefully that'll just add that little bit of hydration and refreshing to the skin. There's no alcohol or anything in there, which is good. I don't like alcohol in my toner. Day number 18. And today we have got another moisturizer. This is from the Essential range and it's the Daily Moisturizer with Quinoa, Raspberry and Vitamin E. 20 mils or 0.68 fluid ounces. It just says to apply after cleansing, but then of course, if you're using your toner in between, you do it after that. It says the lightly textured cream hydrates, softens and soothes the skin day number 19 so today we get a muslin cloth which you know i like a muslin cloth as much as the next person i do use these a lot when cleansing and it looks cute kind of wrapped up but really you shouldn't just give us a muslin cloth this should to me come with a cleanser in a day instead of just oh i've got a cloth today do you know what i mean that's just my opinion anyway so it is like a full-size muslin cloth i can't get it off to show you but it is and like i said they do sell the muslin cloths like as a pack but I don't know, I'd have been happier to have seen it with a cleansing oil or a cleanser or something. Day number 20. So today we have got a travel soap. It is embossed with cow shed, as you'd expect. It just smells like 
soap. I don't know how else to describe it. It smells of soap. I'm sure there's some like essential oils and stuff in there, but it just smells of soap. And it's just, it just smells of soap. And it's just described as the travel soap. So I don't know, it's a travel soap. Day number 21, and this is another hand cream. This one is the Hydrate hand cream. Again, 50 mils or 1.69 fluid ounce. And this one has got Elmi, lavender and fennel. A restoring hand cream to nourish and revive tired hands. Lavender and fennel help to soothe. Rejuvenating Elmi oil can help to reduce the appearance of fine lines and support an even complexion. An even complexion on my hands never heard it described as a complexion on your hands before. Number 22 and today we have got the Revive foot scrub. I love a good foot scrub. So this one is 25 grams or 0.88 ounces so it is quite small and it's described as a rich and soothing scrub to exfoliate and revive dry, tired and aching feet and it's got that quite scrubby texture as you'd expect so it's like a white cream with like black bits in very very nice as an exfoliator it says massage into the feet concentrate on the on dry areas and rinse off it's got moisturizing avocado oil soothing aloe vera and black volcanic sand to exfoliate and soften hard and dry skin leaving it feeling smooth and soft sounds fabulous day number 23 and today we have got it's stuck to the tissue paper so this is the deodorant spray. It's in a 10 ml or 0.34 fluid ounce size and it says with essential oils of peppermint, spearmint and lemongrass. And it's a herbal deodorant to make you feel dry and confident. It just smells really quite fresh and sort of spearminty. I know it says peppermint, oh yeah, spearmint, peppermint, lemongrass, of course that's, what it smells. that's exactly what it smells of. Kind of smells almost a little bit more manly than womanly, not that that matters, but that's what I get a little bit more. Definitely fresh anyway and a little bit minty, which is a strange scent really for a uh, deodorant. I always think of that more as like a foot spray or a toothpaste than my underarms, but we'll give it a try. It's got a little spray on it as well and it is tiny, it's only like a, a sample type size, but it'd be interesting to see how we get on with that. Day number 24, no surprise here, this is the highest value item in here. So this is the Brighton Cowshed Illuminating Serum with Brightening Complex Kumquat and British Birch Water. Like I said, I think this is £36. So for me getting the calendar at £49, this is great. So it's 30 mils or one fluid ounce. So it's got a kind of off-white, almost slightly bluey green sort of colour to it, which is interesting. And then it's got this kind of little press down pump on it and it's in a glass bottle. It tells you after cleansing and toning to apply a few drops to face and decolletage and massage to absorb. It is actually super, super lightweight and it looks like it will smooth into the skin really, really easily. Just has a kind of fresh herbal scent. It's on this hand here. This hand's just had a bit of hand cream on. But I do think this looks a little bit more radiant on first application so interesting so what do i think at 140 pounds which is the full rrp i think it's a little on the pricey side especially when we see things like a little tiny travel soap and a muslin cloth with nothing else in there however the products are lovely and you do get quite a lot of them and you do get a nice range across things like bath body as well as like face and things like that so it's one of those, it's what you, what kind of value you put on things and what you think personally. If you are new to Cowshed and you can get it on sale, then it's the absolute perfect time to try the range. Otherwise it might be a bit of an investment and you might not be sure if you like it and it's quite a lot of money to shell out. But if you love Cowshed, then it's probably gonna be a no brainer. Like I said, it'll be interesting for me to tot up the value of this. I suspect the value isn't going to be massively over 140 pounds but we will see. So this isn't, again, a calendar you're buying for value unless you can get it at the sale price, but it's an interesting one all the same, I think. I think if you enjoy self-care, you enjoy moisturising your body, having nice baths and nice showers and things, I think you'll appreciate this range, definitely. Let me know in the comments if you have tried Cowshed, if you have bought this calendar either this year or previously, or if you are tempted to get it while it's on sale, let me know. I'll put a link and everything to the calendar underneath. If you do decide to use one of my affiliate links, it won't cost you any extra 
extra but it will potentially result in a small commission for me which helps me to keep making these videos i really appreciate it i did buy the calendar myself i will always tell you if it's something that's been gifted or sent to me so i hope you've enjoyed watching this video i know it's a bit random having it so close to christmas but hopefully you still enjoyed seeing what's inside so i would love it if you give this video a thumbs up it lets me know you're enjoying the content i'm producing and i'd love it if you'd subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell to be notified when my next video goes live thank you so much for watching bye guys